you know, I've noticed that there's something that I like to call the Davos glance. When you meet someone, they do not look you in the eye. They look you in the chest. <laughs> well, no, they look you in the eye first, then they look down at your chest. The other thing they do is look over your shoulder <laughs> for the next one. <laughs> to see who else is coming in the room. Exactly, yes. That's probably the, the probably Davos glances, I would say. But there, there's badge, uh, badge recognition. Because yeah. you walk in the room and people assume that if you're here, you must be important, but they don't quite know who you are. Not necessarily so, but there was somebody in the ad business who, who said, you know, you, you always had to smile at anybody you saw in the elevator because they might be a client. And I think that's probably what happens here. So, but people are, by and large, are very pleasant. Uh, access here is extraordinarily good. How long have you been coming to Davos? Uh, more years than I care to admit. I think it's probably about 25 years, actually. 25 years? Yes. What do billionaires talk about behind closed doors? I wouldn't know. I'm not a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let, let's say poorer people who are only worth a few hundred million dollars. What do they talk uh, about behind closed doors? Uh, they, they talk about the, the issues. Now, you're worth a few hundred million dollars or so. Uh, not quite as much, but a, a reasonable sum. Why is this worth it to you? Well, I mean, we're in the, the service business, and to be uh, brutally frank about it, we, we have a large number of our clients here, and a large number of people who aren't our clients. So, from a, use that terrible phrase, from a networking point of view, uh, from a, a relationship point of view, from a, a point of view of establishing contact, contact, it's extremely valuable. 